Hey guys, this is Xavier. I'm here with Amir Kareem from HP, and he's showing us an entirely new product category out of HP. What are we looking at here, Amir? Uh, what you're looking at is a brand new product line, time for the holiday selling season. It's called the HP Dream Screen. We've got two screen sizes, and we're very excited with a 10.2 and a 13.3. We're calling this brand new category Connected Screens. And so, so this is not a picture frame that we're used to seeing last Christmas and the Christmas before that? Absolutely not. It may resemble, um, not even probably, because it doesn't have any of the wood decor. It's really around modern and contemporary design and it's uh, going after a whole new category of quick bite-sized computing right to the display. So what does this do? We're on a music thing here, I assume that plays my music library and how does this work? Yeah, so what you'll experience the moment you turn on the device is the whole experience is uh, resembling the HP TouchMart interface. So when you get into music experience, you'll see all of your music content, whether you want to search your content through artists, album, uh, genre, or even a direct song list, you're able to see the entire list and it mimics just like the TouchMart. And, and what the whole idea is that you can take your music directly onto the device, so it has two gigs of storage, or you can stream your music directly from your PC, uh, or if you want to, you can even take your flash memory or uh, a thumb drive and be able to uh, be able to access your uh, content directly. And, and one of the other areas that we've actually put a lot of effort around is audio quality. So if you want to have this in your kitchen, your living room, your bedroom, uh, the audio is very sufficient and, and it's actually appreciated by many. Uh, a lot of clarity, uh, good level of all frequencies. And, and I can skip songs very easily. Uh, as you can see, all the metadata, all your album cover art shows up very elegantly. And if you have friends over and you want to show them some recent memories of your vacation, all you have to do is hit the slideshow button uh, on the remote control. And all of a sudden, you get a nice slideshow timed with your music collection. And you can change the different transitions and different ways of viewing your photos. Um, and your photos obviously can be directly from the device or we have another connectivity through um, Facebook. So you can actually stream your friends' photos, all of your friends that are a part of your Facebook network, and you can be able to stream their photos directly with the music as you're listening to it. So this is Wi-Fi enabled. You can connect to some applications on, online. Besides Facebook, what else can we connect to? Uh, Pandora is another one. So if you're a big fan of internet radio um, and, and you like uh, the Pandora service, uh, we have direct connection to the Pandora service. We also have uh, a, a capability called HP Smart Radio that allows users to listen to 15,000 radio stations across the world um, and you can actually um, see that directly uh, from the web um, so if you're a big fan of listening to music in China or Singapore or Houston New York California whatever your choice may be you'll see all you have to do is just go to the uh, HP smart radio icon and and you're able to broadcast uh, any of the internet radio stations that are streaming free of charge and Pandora, of course, is a, a, a free system? That's correct. There is no service for Pandora as well. You get the same experience that you would see on the web. The only difference is our device will stream a higher quality of Pandora than you can actually even get on the web. And then now I see that we're, we've been manipulating this device with a remote control. Can you show that to the camera really quickly? Yeah. Uh, so, you've, again, the, the whole idea was to keep it simple. So the, the remote control is kept clean, uh, not a lot of buttons that confuse people. But if the remote control is something that... Uh, you don't want to use, you actually can basically dock the remote control in a nice uh, pocket in the front uh, that stores the remote control. Uh, and then instead now you have access to um, the front capacitor controls. So you can actually still control the same thing you want that you would be from the remote control, but now you can do that through the front. And you can actually choose another station in this case. And as you can see, I'm streaming live content from AOL Radio. And it looks like this is designed to stand up on a desk, but you mentioned earlier that you can also hang it places if you wanted to. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the whole idea with the design was you can put it on a nice, uh, you know, granite counter or something like that, or you can easily uh, be able to uh, wall mount it uh, with your standard screws. Uh, and all you have to do is unscrew the stand and then you're able to wall mount it. Um, and you can either do Wi-Fi or wireless, uh, wired connectivity. Um, your choice. And over on the right side, we have the smaller version. That's called the Dream Screen, screen 100. Uh, yeah, so we have the uh, Dream Screen 100 and the Dream Screen 130. And essentially, that means 10.2 inch and the 13.3. And how much will these cost and when will we be able to buy them? Excellent question. So the 10.2 and the 13.3 will both be launched uh, in the month of September, September 17th. 
uh, time frame. And they'll be available at your favorite online destinations like Amazon.com, Best Buy, uh, HP, and then you'll be able to buy it in retail at Best Buy as well, chain wide. And do you have a price point on these? Yep. Price point will start at two forty nine for the ten point two, and then an additional fifty dollars, uh, two ninety nine for the thirteen three. Thank you very much, Amir. Thank you.